Hi everyone, in this video we will see how to handle SOAP request in your Gmail app. So this is a simple SOAP request which you are trying now. So this, this SOAP request will do or take the numbers as an input and it will give the words as an output. So if you see this, so I am giving the 101 as an input, 105 as an input here. And when you run this, uh, the response is 105. Okay, so now we are going to convert this request into our SOAP. Okay, so this is the URL where it was going to hit. Uh, it was going to hit, and this is a post. This is a post call, uh, and this is the uh, post body what we have now. And uh, so, if you go to the header, so we don't have any address here, so we don't have any attachment. And uh, if you go to the log, still the log here. It will show you the what kind of uh, request you are going to send. So if you see this, this is, this is post call. Okay. So in JMeter, go add a sampler, add HTTP sampler, HTTP request. After adding the HTTP request, paste the respect to SOAP request what you want to send to a server, and use split the URL to respect to factors. So we are using post body. Post mention a post in the here HTTPS request you are using so mention HTTPS and the domain is dataaccess.com dataaccess.com okay so now it was dataaccess.com and this is the web this is a complete URL what you're seeing here okay. this is the complete path what you're seeing here this is the post body okay and if there is any specific port and content encoding then use the content encoding encoding if you have any Request address, use the specific request address here by adding a HTTP header manager. Or if you need any cookie managers, you can add a cookies uh, into uh, a cookie by adding cookie manager config and go to cookie manager and add the cookie manager here. So, if, so if there is any dependencies, authentication, something, so you can add all this here and you can. Um, uh, uh, general request as we do it in general JMeter REST call or general uh, recording, HTTP recording, what we do in JMeter. So once that is done, so you have an object here, so post request. So now I'm passing 100 as a request. If you run this, if you run this, uh, yeah, it was executed. And if you see that you with no cookies are sent to the server and this is a request was sent and this is a response we got 100 okay 100 as a response mm. and uh, so if you want to do parameterization you can use the same cfe data set to parameterization and for doing assertion so if, if, if your response is coming in uh, if the response is coming in the XML format, XML format. So still we can add assertions, copy, uh, post. Uh, so assertions go to the XML, X, uh, XML assertion. So if you go to XML assertions and if you, uh, you can give the uh, assertion content. So this one not loaded here. Uh, you can give the assertion details here. You can give the assertion details. Or you can use the assertions and XML schema assertions or XPath assertions. So you can XPath assertion as well. So in the XPath, you get, for example, if you see this, this is the uh, XPath for uh, 100 response. So this is expected response. So for this, you can give the XPath a number to word. And you need to add this M uh, namespace into your config in your pin folder. So yeah, we can add, uh, add the XML assertions, or we can use the general assertions as uh, text assertions, response assertions, and you can check for the text here. You can check for the text here. So that will help you uh, to that will help you uh, for uh, text assertions as well. So click add uh, 100, and we have one. Hundred. Hundred. So this is also we can use for our session purpose. So uh, if if there is, if we need to find out what post what method it was what HTTP method it was sending in the SOAP UI, uh, then we need to use the same content header authentication everything in your request and we need to send in JMeter. 
ಥ್ಯಾಂಕ್ಸ್ ಫಾರ್ ಲಿಸನ್ ಗಿಫ್ಟ್ ಫ್ರೆಂಡ್ಸ್